Hey, it's Pi Guy, and today I wanted to go over a troubleshooting issue that um, I recently just found out about. I, I never had this problem myself, but a buddy of mine told me he hooked up his console to his TV with an HDMI cable. It was working fine, no problems, and then he hooked it up to a smart TV with the same cable, and for some reason he only gets video with no audio. So I did a little research, and I found a few ways you can fix this problem. It does happen to a few people, so I thought I'd share it with everybody. So I'm going to go over these ways. It's going to be easiest to a little bit more involved, but I promise you I'll make it as simple as possible. Just stick with me. Um, so I'm running out of a track mode today. Uh, first thing you got to do is jump into your track mode menu and then go into your audio settings. Now, by default, your system is set to go or detect automatically what the output method is. It should pick up that you're using the HDMI to a TV or a monitor, or if you are plugged in with headphones or whatever it is. Obviously, in this case, we're using the HDMI. So there might be some kind of communication issue between the console and your TV for whatever reason. So you could also, you could just go down here and select HDMI and force it to go out that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Get a quick confirmation message there. Hit okay. And with any luck, it could be that simple for you. So scroll down to some of these game consoles and see if the snap audio is coming through for you. Hopefully it is. Um, I'm not having any issues with mine. I'm just going through the process to help you guys out. So, But let's pretend that that's not working. So it's going to be a little more involved. What you need for this next step is a keyboard. It could be a mini keyboard mouse combo. I use that to navigate all the time with these consoles and I like it for Cody. Um, there's a little bit of typing involved here, so I'm going to use an actual USB keyboard I have hooked up to my Raspberry Pi. Um, there's going to be a little bit of command codes you have to type in here. It's, it's very simple. I'm going to put all the commands in the video description below. But what you need to do is press escape, and it's going to ask if you want to exit a track mode. Select yes. So this will take you out of the front end, and this is kind of a um, overview screen of your console, so to speak. It tells you how much memory you have, how much you used. Uh, your your core temperature things like that. So What we need to do here is type you can see where the cursor is flashing below Don't don't be worried just type exactly like I'm showing you and just to, to show you guys if you type something that makes no sense It's going to tell you command not found just go back and check your typing So first thing we have to type here is CD space forward slash boost press enter and the next thing is LS space hyphen L press enter again and this is going to kind of show you the root file for the audio and we need to access this file we're just kind of in view mode right now so to speak so to access it we need to type in sudo space nano space config dot txt so now we're in the audio file and we can edit this which is exactly what we want it looks a little intimidating don't be worried it's very simple what we're going to do just go ahead and use your arrow keys on your keyboard and you're going to look for this line that says HDMI underscore drive equals two. You can see mine here. Now yours may have one of these number signs in front of it. If it does, I need you to delete that. There's not, I'm not having an issue with mine, so mine's actually set up correctly. But if it starts with like something like this, number sign HDMI, I need you to take one space in front of the number sign and press delete but just make sure it's on the correct line I'm just showing you that as an example HDMI underscore drive 2 that is the one easy to delete so um, when you do that I want you to see if that worked before you do the next step so um, you need to save it before we exit so to do that I'm just gonna do something here don't do that I'm just showing us for example so pretend you just deleted the number sign you want to press control and X and it's going to ask you at the bottom save modified buffer basically this is asking do you want to save your changes yes or no in your case I want you to type the letter Y and then press enter I actually didn't want to save mine <laughs> but when you press it I'm going to press no for me but that's fine and press enter so now it's going to give you this little boot thing at the bottom again, and I need you to reboot your console. So to reboot your console, just type in sudo space reboot, and I'll actually do it. All 
All right, so we're firing back up. I do have uh, wallpapers that it cycles through on mine, so that's why you see some of these cool pictures. So you can see there just from that launching screen that mine, my audio is still working. I Again, I never had an issue. If you're not sure about yours, just go down to some of these video console snaps, go into a game as you're running on ES, and see if you have audio. So hopefully that will fix it for you. If it didn't, you're going to do this next step. We're going to go right back to where we were. So press escape. Yes, you want to exit. And we're going to type the same commands we just did, which is CD space forward slash boot space hyphen L and then sudo space nano space config dot txt enter so we are right back to where we were hopefully it didn't save my uh, messing up my thing there and it didn't that's good so I'm, I'm right back to the same uh, oops, lost my cursor but we're going right back to the same line, HDMI underscore drive equals 2. Again, you don't want that number sign there. But let's say you remove the number sign and it's still not working. There's one last thing, and this should fix it for you if that's still the case. And we're just going to add two lines of code. So right under where we just edited it, you're going to go and type HDMI underscore force underscore hot plug equals 1. And then you're going to type enter. Oh, I realized I had a typo here. I had a J instead of an H, so I'm just fixing that. HDMI. All right, so and my one didn't go through because my num lock is not working. All right, so HDMI underscore force underscore hot plug equals one. Then you want to go the next line down, and you're going to type HDMI underscore force underscore EDID underscore audio equals one so make sure you do that correctly it has to be letter for letter space for space everything as you see again I'm gonna put this in the video description below and we're gonna save this again so hit control X type Y and then enter so we just saved the edits we made and we want to reboot so just type sudo reboot and there you go I can hear the audio coming through again I never had a problem in the first place but if this is something that created a problem for you hopefully this fixed it um, if you guys found this video helpful, please share it with everybody, give it a thumbs up, and consider subscribing. Alright, thanks for watching guys.